So, Carrie, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Can't you see? I'm enjoying my boat. Is that what you call this? With the feel of line in hand, the smell of salt on the wind, and the sound of wave against rock. As witness to powerful tides rushing over shoals and snow-capped mountains towering high above the sea, while savoring the soothing serenity of babbling brooks and surrounded by the undisturbed tranquility of endless placid bays. This is our story as we sail Pacific Wonder north to Alaska. In episode one, we highlight the summer of 2016 and early spring of 2017 preparing Pacific Wonder for the long voyage ahead. So it's about 7 a.m. on Friday, April 1st, 2016. We have spent the last two and a half weeks or so living in the boat yard while we had some repairs done on Pacific Wonder. There's quite a few other boats here. There's people coming and going during the day, but at night it's pretty quiet. Um, it's definitely interesting living in the boat yard. You talk to a lot of different people, and we're getting splashed today, so we will be moving on to Port Townsend so that we can get the standing rigging fixed. And just thought I'd give you a short glimpse of the parking lot for boats. Because our trip to Alaska would be our first long passage aboard Pacific Wonder, we made the short trip from Anacortes, where we upland moor her, across the Strait of Juan de Fuca to Port Townsend. Port Townsend is home to some of the most extensive and best qualified marine repair and construction services available. We were anxious to make the best possible repairs and upgrades to our boat before embarking to Alaska, and Port Townsend seemed just the right place to make Pacific Wonder ready for the trip ahead. Once securely blocked in the yard, Carrie removed our CQR anchor and 250 feet of chain that we used to anchor Pacific Wonder. We loaded the ground tackle into our truck and drove it into Seattle for regalvanizing. Next up, Brian Toss and company arrived and unstepped Pacific Wonder's 45-foot mast. Brian had previously inspected the rig, and although he did not condemn the equipment, it was beginning to show its 28 years of age. We decided it best to completely replace Pacific Wonder's standing rigging, chain plates and all. While the rig was down, Carrie and I examined the bowsprit and lo and behold, found a soft spot hiding on its underside. Time for a new spar! For this project, we turned to professional help from Steve Chapin of Point Hudson Boatworks.
Steve constructed a brand new bowsprit made of laminated fur encapsulated in epoxy. Steve is a woodworking magician. And abracadabra, it's good as new. Meanwhile, we removed the old chain plates, serviced the sailing winches, and took private lessons from Brian Toss on splicing Dyneema braid for the new lifelines we installed on Pacific Wonder. While waiting for Brian to finish the standing rigging, we had plenty of time to check out the local area and attend many events. One of our favorites was the Wooden Boat Festival, and with Pacific Wonder in the yard, we had front row seats. Another of our favorite events was the Port Townsend Kinetic Sculpture Race, where we had this rare encounter with a waskily wabbit. You've heard of the killing rabbit, right? No. Don't do tell. He's road you with those big red things. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Diabolical! <laughs> we also enjoyed camping in the local mountains, met some colorful local characters, and dined on fine cuisine. There's always plenty to do in Port Townsend, including twice a week farmers markets and just watching whimsical residents. Have a great day! With the return of the galvanized chain, it was yes. back to work on the boat. So, Carrie, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Hey, can't you see? I'm enjoying my boat. <laughs> Is that what you call this? <laughs> Actually, um, what we're doing here is we uh, upgraded to a rock uh, Vulcan anchor, and the way it fits in our bit, it likes to rock a bit because the shank is so, uh, I guess, streamlined on it. So we came up with this idea to make a, a locking attachment to lock down on top of the, the anchor array up there to lock all the anchors in so they can't, one of them accidentally rise up in a big sea or something. But we'll check on it and see how it turned out. I think it'll work. Okay. We'll keep an eye on you. The relatively easy to construct clamping mechanism held both anchors securely in the bit in all weather throughout the voyage. Sometimes simple is better. And then behold, one day like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Toss and company arrived to re-step the mast along with new everything.
just like that, Pacific Wonder is a sailboat once again. But there's still plenty of work to do. Time to go aloft. that I'm not going up there this time. <laughs> Crazy person. They spin up the hallway and they handy going up the two shrouds for the intermediates. Yeah. That's it. So Bob's disconnecting Gus from the mast? Disconnecting Gus from the mast. Hands alone. Bye, Gus. Thank you. <laughs> Splash Pacific Wonder at Point Hudson, where we again installed the sails and Brian fine-tuned the rig. We once again hauled Pacific Wonder, this time at the Port Townsend Municipal Yard, where Carrie and I carefully removed the old bottom paint. We then applied two new coats of anti-fouling paint. We must like hauling this boat. Or is it the living in the boat yard? Next up, we turn to Danielle and Jeff Johnson of the Sea Marine Canvas Loft. Danielle and Jeff skillfully crafted and installed a new dodger and weather cloth for the cockpit of Pacific Wonder to keep us dry and comfortable for the long trip north. Once the canvas was installed, Chris and Garrett of ACI Boats, Gold Star Marine, came to install the newly constructed aluminum arch, which would support our new solar panels. Chris and Carrie developed the conceptual design for the arch, and Garrett welded the assembly together along with support brackets for the solar panels. Once installed on the boat, Carrie and I mounted the solar panels to the arch and installed the Blue Sky Controller. And with a little additional wiring, we're off the grid. When we bought Pacific Wonder, the galley was equipped with a top-loading cruising refrigerator. 
which was inefficient and inconvenient. As part of our preparation for the trip, we removed the old fridge and installed a front-loading Novacool refrigerator freezer. Installing the Novacool required very little modification to our cabinetry and countertop. It is much more efficient and user-friendly and runs on low enough amperage to be powered completely by our solar panels. Time to celebrate, enjoy a couple of steaks and pack our gear. Next stop, the fuel dock, where we fill our tanks with diesel and water. Tomorrow we begin our long-awaited voyage up the Inland Passage. And we set out at last, north to Alaska. You're wearing a yellow jacket and you're being pestered by a yellow jacket. Yes. <laughs> I don't like it. What's he doing out of here, huh? Join us again next week as we cruise into British Columbia and wind our way through the Gulf Islands into Nanaimo.